Hello and welcome back to P Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a cylinder in isometric uh, projection. So this is the cylinder we are having here, and this is in isometric projection. The circle at the top, the one at the uh, at the base, is all they are all in isometric projection. So this is video 22 in this video series on the isometric projection. In the previous video, we looked at how to draw a circle. So how to draw a circle. So this was what we did. If you have how to draw a circle itself. In isometric projection if you miss this particular one and the previous videos that we've done i will leave a link in the description of this particular video so if you are new here please consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this on that technical drawing engineering drawing electrical engineering topics do make sure you click on that subscribe button it's at the lower right of your screen please go ahead and subscribe now all right thank you very much if you have just done that okay so now let's let's start drawing with this so the first thing like we do is i draw my horizontal line Okay, so let me take this up a bit. So I already have my horizontal line. So now, let me draw the vertical line. So don't forget, make sure your, uh, your set square is properly placed on your T-square. It's very important. If you have been following, you know that I do emphasize on that. So the first thing we want to do is the circle at the top. Remember in the, in the last video we've done how to draw a circle in isometric drawing. And this the top of this cylinder is a uh, radius, it has a diameter rather of 50 millimeter. Radius of, I'm um, sorry, diameter of 50 millimeter. That means if you are to look at it with a normal circle from one circumference to the other passing through the center is 50 millimeter, that's five centimeter. So let's first of all do that of the uh, the circle. So if you watch the previous part, I believe uh, this should, should find this very, very easy. You should find this very easy. So let's go ahead and draw the 30 degrees line. So using our set square. Remember, I said you are not going to be using your protractor when you are dealing with isometric uh, projection. Your set square, your 60 degree set square will do the job for you. Okay. So since our radius is um or diameter rather is 50 millimeter, so let's go ahead and measure that 50 millimeter line. On the line rather so let's measure 50 millimeter so this is the 50 i'll also take note of uh, the middle of this line which is 2.5 2.5 then i'll measure here 50 50 millimeter which is same as five centimeter and then uh 25 millimeter which is 2.5 I'm, I'm sure if you watch the previous part, you know I'm taking note of the center of those uh, on those line. But don't worry, just watch along. We are going to see how we are going to make use of those lines. So now let's connect this. Let's draw a line from those points. So that I want to mark the center on the other line. So this is it here. I can just decide to just mark instead of drawing it all uh, the line across. So let me just note it like that. Okay. So unlike the previous video, I won't be doing that A point A, B and C and D point one, two point X and point Y. I won't be doing that in this particular drawing. So we can just go ahead and draw our V. Remember, I said our V. I'm going to be taking it from. The, uh, the angle that is giving us up to this angle that is more than 90 so we are going to be having something like this so from this point from here to here i'm going to draw having our v with a faint line even though this is looking more than a faint line so that you can just see it from here We have something like this so from the top also like this so
So now we can bring in our compass to draw our circle. So from this point, from here, I will adjust it to here. Okay, it's already there. Let me be sure that it will get there. Alright. So we just already have one side of our of the top. So now we bring it from here. So make sure the two are connecting each other. So now from the point of intersection, that is from here and from here, so you bring back the compass again. So we do it from this side, same thing from this point, from the point of intersection right there. Alright, so now we've been able to get the circle at the top. So the next thing for us is to get this you know, the remaining parts, like this particular portion. Now, if you look at the um, this cylinder that we are having here, the distance from here to here, which is the height, is three centimeter. That's thirty millimeter. So what we will do is this. So you bring in the ruler. And we are going to draw a line across like this, just a faint line. So what I want to do is, I want to replicate what we are having at this second half of this circle. We are going to replicate at it uh, right here without having to go through the process of drawing our uh, drawing this 30 degrees line again. So just follow along. So the first thing is to, from this point here, remember this end and here of the circle, we are going to measure our, uh, our 30 millimeter, which is the height of the cylinder. So first we need to get the line, we will still bring back the set square. So from here we will just draw a fence line. And then from here. Alright, so from that, uh, from those lines I'm just going to measure our 30 millimeter. that's 3 centimeter. So which is here. Yeah. Alright, so now from here we are going to replicate the lower part of this circle that we are having here. We are going to replicate it so that we can have this uh, the curve like this so that it forms an isometric circle and like i said we are not going to repeat this process from here in order for us to get the lower part so this is what we are going to do what we are going to do is we are going to find those lines or those points that helped us to get the lower part of this circle the lower part of this circle so one of it is this particular point here remember it was from this point we were able to draw connect this like this so that we are able to get the line from here to here so what we are going to do is this so you bring back your set square now from those points let's let's draw it down so let's connect it to the to this 
So from the all now note these five points I'm going to uh, draw down. So just to save us our time, note you are going to draw, uh, draw this point down. One, two, three, four, five. You know these are the points that give rise to this uh, circle we are having at the top. So we are going to extend it down with a faint line. So this with a faint line. And then from here, it's a faint line. We've done this already. So for this, it's a faint line. And from here, it's a faint line. So from those five lines that we've just drawn, we are going to note the three centimeter points from those points we are going to measure three centimeter that's 30 millimeter so starting with this so let's note where the yeah, 30 millimeter is 30 millimeter same as so this is it and then from starting from here i'm just going to note those points so this is much much more easier than going through the process of starting all over again to draw a circle so this is the point here and then for this particular one, so we know three centimeter on the line, and then three centimeter. So now with this, now we can get, use that to get the base. All right. So now let's start with this. Now remember at the top, initially what we did was from here, we extended our compass to this point. I hope you can see it. From here, we extended the compass to this point, and then we are able to draw, to draw this. So let me. So yeah, like this, we are able to draw this. So now that we are going down by three centimeter, we are going to bring it here. This is the three centimeter mark. So that means we are going to be repeating the same thing from this point. Remember, let me show you. So remember, when we put place our compass here, we extended it here. For us to get it so now that we've brought it down by three centimeter this other point so we've also brought it down by three centimeters so what we are going to do is we are going to from here to here and with that we've gotten a part of the, uh, the base of the cylinder so you can see so this to this point here so the next thing is this now look at it also for us to get this other part we placed our compass here and then we adjust it to the length of to the same length with this and we're able to get this line here so what we'll do is from this same point we are going to come down by three centimeter that's 30 millimeter and we've measured it earlier to be this point I hope it's clear. It was here we did for the top. Now that we are going down by three centimeter, and that's thirty millimeter. This is it from this point. So from here, so just make sure. So you can see we've been able to connect this this part so we are going to repeat the same thing here for here we started from this point and then we're able to connect it like this so by three centimeter down even if it is if you are working with the height of the cylinder is more than three centimeter just note that the height that will determine how far you will come down to get it so from that will be from here so that will help us to connect this to this So with this now we've been able to replicate this uh cylinder in isometric projection so i hope you find value in this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe please click on the subscribe button so if you have been watching this video from the beginning you know we've done this is 22 and we are still going to we still have two more to cover so let me know how many of this construction you've been able to do on your own a bit i mean practice and then 
let me know maybe maybe 5 10 or maybe you've already been able to practice 21 so far and including this making 22 let me know in the comment section below and if you have any question or any comments for me uh, do leave them in the comment section below and then i'll see you all in 23 when we are going to be drawing this i hope you can see that if you can't see it you see it in the next video which will be coming up immediately after this video so thank you very much uh, from pa academy and i'll see you all in the next one